What a day, what a day. So we're focusing on Region 10 as of late. If you noticed last week, we did uh, Master Eddie Thomas. And then earlier today, we also did another legend, um, Eddie Butcher. Two Eddies, I don't even think about that. Today, we're going to do another one. And this is Master Ron Jenkins. And guys, I'm honored because I know these guys. I actually have an opportunity to um, speak to them. And they know who I am, and I'm kind of, it's kind of funny when I think about that. You know, but um, we have people watching from all over the world, um, and I thank you for watching. If you if there's somebody you want me to interview that hasn't been interviewed as of yet, please share some of that information. But um, when it comes down to it, we have some real deal people who are working together to try to take things and have all of us make things happen. So I'm going to invite someone in right now who... Um, has given me his time from a busy, busy schedule to actually share some of his history. I'm going to talk about the past, present, and future of this gentleman right now from Region 10, which was back in the days, and again now, Region 10 is um, the DMV, as they call it, which is Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia. So we're going to find out where he's from originally and get some information on things he's done Hopefully, and I, I attempted to add him already. I'm not sure why it didn't happen. Mr. Jenkins, let's try this one more time. And, you know, since this is live, sometimes we have some challenges. Okay, so I already invited you. All you have to do is accept it on your end. Now, if you're not on your phone, it won't be possible. So I'm not sure if you're on your phone, Mr. Jenkins. Hopefully, you're not. Because I know that you're here because I saw you. And... When you're doing the Facebook Live um, interview, it actually has to be on the phone, just so you know. Tony, how you doing? Congratulations to all you guys who have been competing recently, leading by example. Justo, welcome. Santos, okay, Panama, wow. What's up, Cuzzo? Steve Best, we have a lot of people here. What's up, Cuz? Fontanez, another, wow. Man, we got, guys, again, I appreciate you guys. I know it's um, you guys are busy. Um... Mr. Jenkins, Ron Jenkins, I know you're here, or at least you were a second ago. Let me see if I can snatch you one more time. I tried to bring you in, it didn't work. Let's try it one more time. It doesn't cooperate. This time, I believe it looks like it's actually doing it. So, the World United Martial Arts Federation, 67 countries, 6, 7, and counting. And um, we're here just to um, reset things, you know to help take things to the next level. But we are standing on shoulders of giants. And that's the reason why I'm doing these interviews, these power talks, so like that people can actually hear from the so-called horse's mouth. Because... Hey, 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 Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me see something else here. All right, cool. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. It's still giving giving back. I mean, let me know if you can give us feedback. If you're not here, I'm Okay. 
Okay, so there was some feedback here, guys. I apologize. Let me try to um, add Mr. Jenkins again. He's on a busy schedule. Um, the reason why I have it there, the green, because in the future when I edit this, this is the rule on uncut. So when this gets edited and put in other social media, it won't have that background. It will actually be the logos or stuff like that. It's you. Yeah, well, because the feedback was coming through him. And that's what it was. Even though it might have been me, per se, it was really him. Okay, give me a second, guys. Hey, how you doing there? Wow, I got some quite a few people here. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me see if this works. All right. Time. Yeah, I'm getting the feedback because in his... Okay, how about that? It's still a little feedback. And I apologize. We have to do it again. I just want to make sure that I know that you are a busy, 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 busy. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right, so what I want to do is this. Most of the feedback I want to hear is not going to hear me much. I want I want to give you some questions, questions and then you will give me ongoing. ongoing. What was the desperation? What was the desperation? My desperation was back in the day I was a little small guy uh growing up in a town that um well, I'm gonna be, be honest with you, blacks just didn't do martial arts. And um so therefore I wanted to do something that was different, you know. I come out of a very large family, a uh, family of 13, and I was the oldest. And, of course, yeah, and figured that, um, you know, it was always me by myself. And, you know, growing up in the, in the town that I grew up in, uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty intense, you know. And, of course, I wanted to do something not by a team, but I wanted to do something for myself. I wanted, I wanted me as a recognition, not a whole team thing. And because, again, being a loner, you know, um, hey, this is something that, that appeased me. This was, this was something that, you know, I was like, I'm going to try this. So my cousin, my, my cousin got me into it, uh, got me started. And, uh, and then from then, it, it was history. You know, I, I loved it. You know, it was like me, me against the world. I, I couldn't blame nothing on nobody else but me, you know, so. What, what year was what year was it? Uh, back in 1970, 69, 70, right around there. Way so back. If, so, if I'm mentioning the area, area and what school? Oh, uh, I went, okay, uh, Warrington, Virginia. That is good old, we call it Fork Hill County. Um, but basically what happened, um, Again, being being well was raised, yeah, I was on, like the only uh, I was a, a black on the wrestling team, and you know, of course, then that was very hard back then. And of course, I wanted to do something that, again, that I could get some recognition. And one of the things that my cousin, which was in the military in the Korean War, he was the one that said, "Hey, you know, come on, I'm gonna show you something. Since you're a little teeny thing, getting beat up all the time." You know, so uh, I did it. And then, of course, my other cousin got me started, you know, and I went, started in Manassas, Virginia. And then uh, once I got some money in my pocket, you know, then I started training. Uh, I guess you, I guess you call it commercial back then. You know, I started training with uh, several different instructors. And I guess my main instructor was uh, Grandmaster uh, James Roberts, a senior. Um, you know, and uh, he was he was the man back then. You know, oh, 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 oh. part of this was feedback. James Robert, James I believe, Robert, is I winning believe grand champion of winning the Tiger North Forms at the All Americans. Yeah, but he he yeah his his son was but his James son. Robert, his son. Okay, yeah. James James Robert Senior. Um, <laughs> he he was he was a bad dude too. Uh, but you know he he uh, went back and forth. He was in Vietnam War and the Korean War. Also, um, and I, you know, that's who where I got my my I'm gonna say my base from. That that, you know, it was back in the day. You know, you know, you only it was in this area. 
uh, was James Roberts, uh, Grandmaster June Ree, uh, uh, Tompkins, uh, Karate, uh, Joe Blight. You know, it was it was a very you know you knew who the instructors were back then. You know, it was uh, McDuffie in D.C. The, the uh, De matter of fact, Dennis. You know, back back Dennis Brown back there. Uh, but you know, those are the guys that were the 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 big big dogs back then, you know, and, and again, you know, it wasn't every 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 uh every black belt, you know, the open or cross school down the street from, you know, it wasn't like that. You know, you they had respect back then, you know, they didn't they tried to stay away from each other, you know, open their schools up. So and and I tell you, I learned a lot from from the old man, you know. Was that Mortar Quantum? That's Mortar Quantum too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, and that was it's pretty cool because like I said, Mr. Rob was, was very, very old school. Uh we did a lot of things, you know. As a matter of fact, you know, it's so it's so funny because you know, I you know, of course I have my martial arts school right now too. And you know, the things that the kids do now, you know, and like I got you my students, you guys couldn't handle it back back when we was coming up because it just things are just too soft right now, you know. But that's just the way the world is. I mean, you know, you know, we just deal with it and keep rolling with it, you know. But you know, with with that, you know, again, uh, uh, training under Mr. Roberts was was a big big thing because you know he he knew the guys back then, you know, and, you know with the kickboxing and and all that you know the stuff, you know, it was the weapons. It, it was good old traditional stuff, you know. So, so again, guys, I'm, guys, I'm giving the key back to my hand. I'm going to give the season some questions. When did you get into competition? competition? I got in competition, man. I tell you, my first, believe it or not, my first competition uh, was in New York. Um, All Americans. All Americans. I went up with Mr. Roberts and uh, uh, what's the guy out of, out of Virginia Beach? Um, uh, Frank Agro. Uh, we 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 chartered a bus and went to New York, and that was my first time. And, and I tell you, that that was uh, it was really crazy because not knowing anything about competition and going to New York, you know, where everybody was Bruce Lee's back then, you know, it was pretty it was pretty pretty intense, man, pretty intense, you know. But you I have right yeah. man, I can't. Remember. It's, well, if you remember, well, if you remember we were in Champion, I was able to tell you that I was going to tell you that I was going to tell you I can't remember who, you know, I, I don't remember who won Grand Champion, man. You know, I was in, a, like I said, that was a, a time back then, you know, that I was getting into it and, you know, it gotcha. was like, gotcha. it was it was crazy back then, you know. But I know that uh, Frank Hargrove has some boys from down in Virginia Beach that, um, they did real well. I, I can't remember what they got, but they did real well. I know those boys did real good down there. Um, and then, uh, of course, to move it on up, you know, I I started started competing a little, little bit more in, in uh, on the circuit and um, region know, ten, region ten, region ten, and you know, and that was a powerhouse back then, man. I tell you, I know everybody everybody thinks that region was was tough, but I tell you what, region ten was like. They had the boys in in the, in the region, and if you won, if you won in Region Ten, you know you you were doing pretty good, you know. So. Well, I interviewed well, Eddie Thomas, Thomas and, Eddie and Eddie Butcher, Butcher so, so far from Region Ten. Region 10. Yeah. yeah, and they were some bad boys back then, you know. You know, I, I you know it was funny because you know Baltimore was the the place where you had to go to get some recognition. I mean, you know, I mean the boys like James Balkins. Uh, uh, Henry Grant, uh, you know Eddie Butcher, all those guys, you know those, you know those were, and that way, that way Hopkins, yeah. I mean, those were the guys that you know, you know, you went up there, you had to fight. You cannot, you could not go up there and and, and play around because those guys didn't play, you know, and they made you, they made you a fighter. They, you know, Leroy Taylor. I mean, the whole crew. I mean, I'm close with those guys, you know, and and it's funny because. You know, back then you could go and fight and still be friends. You know, I mean, you know, it was like it's like, all right, I'll get you next week. I'll I'll get you next week, you know. All right, I like that. You know, and it's not like it is today. You I watch these young people fight today, you know, and they hating each other, and you know, it's it's, it's bad, you know. 
you know. And I heard you mention something yesterday about the team thing, you know. And and you know, I had you know I coached DKT Force One team, and um, and I tell you what, we had a team, and but I made sure that even when I was coaching, those guys shook your hand, and 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 they had to show respect. I mean, because I you know didn't stand for it. Uh, Dio Campo, he didn't stand for it, you know. As a matter of fact, I remember I came fighting you for grand champion up in New York. And, you know, that was, you, you, got, you two battled like crazy up there. I mean, and it's funny because y'all was talking crap to each other the whole time fighting. And, uh, um, but then you shook hands and said, hey, okay, I'll see you next time. See you next week, you know. And it was pretty cool. You know, and that's what, that's what we need now, you know, versus uh, just, well, you know, well, I, you know, know I believe that. I know I believe, that, I know I believe that, that we as elders have, have an opportunity and a duty to actually give them options. Them options. But, sometimes but sometimes the powers that be, let's be honest, they're not going to hold them and they tie. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's funny because, you know, I, I watch I watch the contact of of the black belts, and you you mentioned it yesterday, and while I was watching you. You know, everybody fights the same. Everybody got the same beat. Everybody got the same <laughs> rhythm. I mean, I mean, it's one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. You know, and and you back then, like you said, you know, you had to you you had to fight. I mean, like if I'm gonna use for example, you were talking about the groin kick, man. The first time I went down south, down down to the North Carolina area, man, and I picked my leg up to fight. You know, and Jay Bell. I don't know if you know Jay Bell. Crazy Jay, Jay Bell. Bell. Ooh, I got to interview Jay him. Bell. Jay Bell kicked me in my groin so hard, man. I tell you, it was it was unbelievable. And you know, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you back. But again, you know, different parts of the country when you fight. You know, you, it was different rules, and you know, and it was up to you to know the rules. And you know, back then, the instructors, Mr. Roberts, I'm gonna use, you know, he didn't tell me what the rules was. He just say, come on, we're going down and fight. You know, we're going down and do forms. And, but I got Jay Bell back, you know, I got him back, back when he came back, to West Virginia, I got him back. But, you know, it was one of those things, you know, you know, but, but like I said, I, you know, but you enjoyed fighting back then, and, you know, and you fought, you know, like I said, and, and I like, you know, back to one point thing, man, you know, there's two point things for two points for kicks, you know, one points for hands, I mean, give me a break, you know. One point should be for everything because you know what? Second, guys, and I apologize. I feel so blessed, and happy that I'm not alone. Yeah, I tell you, I mean, you know, I, I just, just, just watching these guys, like the two four kicks, and the kicks don't even touch it. You know, it's like, oh my god, how you gonna call a two four kick when it? it, it it comes across your face and you say, oh, two, you know, ah, you know, drives me crazy. You know, just sit there watching. Matter of fact, I help Dennis Brown on every year and I'm down in with the lower belts because, you know, watching the black belts, you know, it's like, it, you know, as an older guy, as a, as, as a coach, yes, as a coach, coaching the team that I had, you know, you know, we made contact, you know, we made contact. And that's and that's what it was supposed to be, you know. Contact, you know. You you do martial arts. You do you hit. You you punch. You know, you know. And you get, but we had control, and that's what that's what they don't have today. They don't have control. I mean, if a if a, if a black belt get hit now, you know, they cry. I, I hate to say that, but they cry. They whine. You know, but you know, it's it's not even supposed to be like that. You know. And, and, but then you want to say, how are you going to teach your students? Yep. You do the same thing. You know, I don't know. But yes, yes, you know. And you just faded out. I didn't get that part. I said, everybody is a blessing. Yes. We have to take. Days that we have and utilize them, reach that not around. Yes, you know, and you know, just like what I'm gonna use at my at my studio. You know, I I try to um, impress people when I say 
and I use that lightly, when I say that, it's like what I'm teaching, I want them, you know, of course, your instructor is supposed to be the leader. The, post, the instructor is supposed to be the person that your, 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 your students look up to, you know. So they don't say lead by example. You know, you're supposed to lead by example. So when I was fighting, you know, I would tell students, hey, you got to make contact. You're not trying to kill this person, but make contact. Control. I'm a, I guess you can tell I'm a fighter. I like I like to fight fight game. You know, then, then I'm a, you know when it comes to you know leading, you know even with forms. You know, I'm gonna use my wife. My wife was was so awesome when she when she did forms. You know, I mean she was number one in PKL. You know, in forms. You know, and she could fight too. You know, and basically, you know, we when we came to forms, you know, even when I was coaching force D, D, DKT Force One, you know, we wanted to make sure like the forms had to be precise. What, what, what are you doing in that form? Are you just playing around in that form or are you doing techniques in that form? Are you fighting somebody in that form? You know well anyway. You know it just it just it gets it gets do you why you think why you think about what you're doing in terms of the research research? I think that I think it's be good, you know. For instance, you know, you mentioned something about um, uh, the traditional forms. You know how um, back in the day, you know, you, you you did traditional forms. You know, you had good deep stances. Uh, you had your punches wasn't you strict. You were good punches. You're punching with your knuckles, not with your whole hand. Uh, your knife hand. You're not doing. I call it ski lifts. You know, raising up. You know, high fiving people. Um, you know, and that's good for, like I say, that's good for, uh, for, uh, open forms or tricking forms. But when it comes to traditional forms, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a traditionalist, you know, and, and when I'm teaching my students, I want that, you know, I want, I want to make sure that you you if you're kicking, you know, you know where you're kicking. If you're punching, you know where you're punching. Excuse me. If you're blocking, block properly because you don't block you get hit you know so when you're doing the forms you know we want to make sure that we're doing that and when you go to tournaments if you got all these forms together again a traditional form this is not gonna gonna make it because you know i we americans we like flash we we, we like all that you know and somebody's gonna suffer and i guess the traditional guys are the ones that suffer. But, but with that, you know, again, you know, I love, I love this art, you know, I mean, I've been doing it all my life, you know, and my kids, you know, have been doing it, you know, and, you know, of course, you know, Kirk, my son, you know, he, he, you know, people say you can't, can't uh, flourish from the martial arts, you know, he's, he's now doing stunts in Hollywood, you know, my daughter, you know, she, you know, she's a world champion, she's been doing it real good, my wife's a world champion, so, I mean, you know, and then, of course, the Force One team, you know, a whole bunch of those guys, uh, you know, they have been very, very, very successful. Um, you're talking about Eddie Thomas, he was on the team. You know, we, we, we had a, DMV had a powerhouse down there, you know. We had we had the fighters, you know, and we always say, come to, you come to the DMV, you better, better be ready because, you, you know what, we're going to send you out of there, so. Hey, hey, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if you remember one. I was one of the few guys who bring in from New York in the early 80s. And do you remember any of the things that were not on the ever hard ever hard to know from John Burns? Bring what? I can't hear you. Bring what now? Say that again. Bring the New York in the 11th down. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you talk about Robert Everhart stuff? Yes. I mean, yeah, I remember when you got, look. Yeah, of course I remember. You gotta come down, you know, John Burke's tournament. You know, it, it, like I said, it was, it was, it was, it was on. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, we, we basically was saying, you know, you come, you coming down here, you know, it, you know, we're the DMV. We want to send you back to to your region, you know, and we didn't want you to send you back to your region saying, hey, those guys, they ain't nothing. You know, when you came down, here, you knew that you came down here, you know. And if you if you won, you know you earned it. You know you, it wasn't given to you. You earned it. So, and you know, like I said, by traveling with by traveling with the Force One team, 
that was that was one of the highlights of my life because you know I got to travel around the world and also I got to travel to the different tournaments. You know, George Santa Maria's tournament. You know, we used to come there every year. You know, and bang, bang, bang. You know, it, it was it was you know it was really cool. You know, and you know just just you know California. I mean, just everywhere we went it was it was really good. You know, what I mean, just you know it was a different a different taste, different different taste, different pace. You know, you know, it was a different mixture, you know, and, and you know, we used to have an old saying, DKT would fight you anywhere, in a place, any any time. But we had to change that because, you know, a lot of people kind of got upset with that. But it was, it was cool, though. It was cool, yeah. Who were some of the people as a competitor that you looked up to? Competitors that I looked up to. Um, uh, Mike Cole. I don't know if you know, and, you know Mike Cole was was like one of him and Jeff Smith was bad fighters back then. Um uh who else was out there? Um of course, you know, it was uh, uh Billy Banks was out there fighting at the time. You know, I was I was a newbie, you know, when I said newbie, I wasn't at that level yet, you know. Um let's see who else are some good guys out there. Um man, it was so it was a whole lot of them out there. Dennis Brown, we from out from DMV. Dennis Brown was a person that I really looked up. I still look up to him. You know, he's he's still a man. You know, um, of course, you know, you know, my instructor because he was competing. You know, a lot. Um, Jimmy Roberts Jr. You know, he he was he was the man. Bill Olam, these guys. You know, um, uh, you know, I'm 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 yeah, yeah. You know, like I said, you know, uh, you had a. Uh, um, uh, who was that over there? Aldo Sylvia. Uh, um, uh, who else? Uh, Mike Warren. Mike Warren. Mike Warren. Yeah. I'll be true. Yeah. Yeah. All those guys. You know, like it's it's so many of them. Uh, Arnold Mitchell. You know, I mean, it's just it, it was a, it was the crew. I mean, like I said, the DMV was was loaded back then. You know, it was loaded, you know, which was which was pretty cool because again, in order to Get any recognition, you had to be at that caliber. You could not, you could not, you couldn't be half stepping because if you did, you didn't make it, you know. And I, you know, we're being, we were being in DMV, we were being blessed because we did have the competitors. We did have, you know, we had guys that, that, that looked, that looked up for you, you know, looked out for you, you know, hey, do this, do that. I mean, and we were a very tight group. I mean, you know, and I always say the Baltimore group and I was very, very tight, you know, and, and because you, we basically com competed together and, you know, you know, a away from each other. Um, but like I said, it was, it was, just, it was a, it was a pleasure fighting, even doing forms back then, you know, I mean, it was, it was a, it was a, it was a pleasure doing it. You know I mean? It was, I like every weekend somewhere, you know. You know, well, in form, form, you guys had John, Chun, Charlie, John, 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 Charlie Lee, Lee, and on and on. I mentioned a few more of those people. We didn't tell no joke. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, like I said, you had Charlie Lee, John Chung, and them. You also had uh, see some of the women. You had, uh, of course, my wife Carolyn Jenkins. She was out there. Uh, uh, Brenda Fernandez from Baltimore was out there. A lot of the the real kickers. You know, I came. It, it was just so many people, man. You know, um, Ibi Adula, you know, from 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 uh, where he, he was with uh, McDuffie back then, back then, uh, DC Dragons. Um, God, man, um, the the boys from Tompkins uh, Karate, I can't think of the names. They were they were hardcore form guys. You know, you know, like I said, you just had 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 a, a tough group. You know, um, the the Holman brothers up from uh, from Hagerstown, Pee Wee and. Uh, um, uh, Gary, you know, like I said, the DMV man, you know, I'm pumping in DMV. Then you had the younger, younger generation coming through, you know, with Dale Kempo, uh, uh, Phil Baruti, Lilia, um, uh, Felix Cortez, uh, Felix Cortez, Felix, yeah, Big Bad Felix, you know, Felix. Uh, you had Sean Elliott, and uh, let's see who else we I mean, we had. We had a we had like the DMV was just loaded, you know. And remember, and remember to Francis, 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 Francis,
Yes, 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 yes. Like I said, it, it was just you remember all these guys, man. You know, but it, it was it was so many of us, man. You know, there's so many, so many good people out of DMV. You know, then you had the Toll Brothers, Michael and 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 and, and um, Charles, Charles, Charles. Yeah, you know, Toll. You know, you had um, um, I'm trying to give a shout out to all of them. Brian May from down in Harrisonburg. You know, I mean, just you know. <laughs> We were loaded, you know, and you know, and that's what I, I hopefully that we, you know, with the new thing you're doing, we can get this, get that morality back, you know, get it going again, you know. Well, because we're still alive. alive. Since we're, Since alive, we're alive, that means it's that still, means possible. still possible. Yes, yes, yes. And I can understand this other country. Other country. Say that one more time. Six, six, seven other countries are doing it. Really? Oh. Awesome. 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 Well, listen, I'm not going to tell you guys, you guys can you tell me info about present and future? And future? About the future? Is that what you said? The, the, the present? The present? Present and the future. And future. And future. All right, present. Uh, right now, of course, you know, um, I, have a, you know I have a studio in, in Warrington, Virginia, which is, is doing, doing very well. Um, and basically what, what, what I have been doing, what, what I have been doing, I've kind of backed off a little bit, and, you know, been helping Dennis Brown with his tournament, but, um, um, uh, just trying to get my students trained real good. You know I mean? You know, you get them back in the competition, get them motivated again, because, you know, the, you know, when your instructor lose motiva motivation for going to tournaments, you know, your students do. And, and I did, you know, I, I, I stopped going to tournaments, you know, because I just got sick of it. You know, um, um, uh, you know, my my daughter and my son got me back into the tournaments. You know, Nikki and Kirk, because they wanted to compete, but then when they grew up, they doing their own thing now. You know, matter of fact, Nikki's still hanging in. She still wants to you know, get get a group back and back competing again. And so, what we're doing, we're trying to you know build this thing back up again. You know, get get uh, students going. Going back to competition, and and you said the future, you know. Hopefully, we got something. You know, you know. I'm I'm looking at you. You know that you know you 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 the man. You the head of it. You know, uh, trying to get things back back going, and that's what we want to do. You know, so. Yeah. yeah. Again, guys. Again, guys. No one can hear me. Can hear me my my phone is bad. bad. However, however, if you can if just you can just you know, so give us a few more shots. Give us a few more Okay, with the future, you know, with the future, what I'm trying, what I would love to do is get a team, you know, not not the DKT, not not that kind of team, but just get a team back going, get get a motivator back doing, you know, back getting back into the tournaments and really rocking again. That would that that's what we try to do. As a matter of fact, I have to give it, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 Mike Dietrich has said that he was trying to do something like that also, you know, and, and, and which is good. If everybody, anybody, everybody that can help, you know, it, that's good because, you know, one thing about the martial arts, you know, we got people that hate on each other, which, which you shouldn't be hating. You know, this is supposed to be, we are supposed to be one group, one one body. And, you know, if you got people saying, well, my martial arts is better, or my school is better, or that's better, then we're not going to go nowhere. So the key thing is now we want, you know, we can get these, you know, these older guys like me and, and some of these other guys together. And, we, you know, I'm, and i got to give a shout-out for Jeff, Jeff, uh, Jeff Dawes because he's down there really trying to, you know, get, get things going also, you know, every, you know, and he's a young guy, which is is pretty cool to see a young guy getting motivated and try to get everybody else motivated. But the future is if we can get these guys all connected, you know, and which you you know, you, you know you 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 have started it, you know, we can get them all the men together. We got we got a powerhouse, you know. I mean, you got people like Kirk Shawrock, Gerald Dawson, you know, all these guys that are, that are, are good guys, you know, that you know have have done a lot. For the martial arts, you know, and they are doing a lot of martial arts. You know, this is what we need to build the martial arts back up. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna be a little prejudiced for my area, for the DMV. The DMV used to be one of 
one of the biggest fouls is going like that. <laughs> and it can still be. I mean, we still got some good good competitors. Like I said, you know, you got the Dawson, you know, you got, you know, the Walks group, you know, you gotta you still gotta get, you know, uh Sean got um um what's the girl name down there? Sean Elliott got uh just lost her name. Fighting um Gina. You know, she's down there down with the lower part of Gina fighting. So, you know, you know, again, you know, some of the, and I'm a, I might say some of the older guys are still doing it, like Sean and Gerald all still on there trying to a little bit. You know, and um and that's what we need for the future. You know, we need to push it just like that. I mean that's 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 where it's at, you know. All right, sir. All right, sir. Again, I'm sorry again, for the back connection. But if you want to give some shout-out, shout out, and then we can end it. Okay. Well, you know, like I said, again, I'm going to give a shout-out. I'm going to give a shout-out for one to my son, Kirk Jenkins, because, you know, he's kicking kicking butt in, in Hollywood now. You know, he's been in he's been in several different movies, you know, like Black the, Panther. The Equalizer, the, the Infinities, you know, War, uh, He's working out. He's working in London with uh, 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 Dwayne Johnson and those guys, you know. So he's really rocking. But but shout out! I want to give a shout out to all the DMV man because we we again, I think the DMV is one of the most powerful groups out there, you know. And all we gotta do is get it united again, and and we're gonna kick some butt because again, you know, I am I'm all for the DMV, you know, because we like again what I said. We got a good group here. You know, we got we got we got the backbones. We we got you know even I want to say the older guys been trained by the best. So if you've been trained by the best, you can be the best. Yeah, and that's the way I look at it. So, so, but anyway, you know I appreciate you, Jerry. You know I appreciate you getting out there doing it, man. Because you know what, you know you and you you're a voice. You know, and and you know somebody got to step up, and you know. You know, thank God we got somebody that's going to step up, you know. And I'm here to help you, and I'm sure a lot of the guys got your back. So. All right, so. All right, so. Thank you. When I say when I say A-B, A-B, you say C. You C-B. say C. Okay. A-B. 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 See ya. Be out of here. Be out of here. Thank you. Okay, guys, so listen, I apologize. I'm not sure if you're still hearing feedback now, but we had a bad connection. Can someone let me know if the, if the connection is better now? Because I know you were saying there was feedback. Now it probably should be better. But in a nutshell, Ron Jenkins is a, a definitely a pioneer and legend in the industry. He's done quite a bit of things. We didn't get into some of his personal stuff, you know. But, um, hey, how you doing, sir? All right, Jamaica's in the house. Florida's in the house. Kyokushin Kai's in the house. And um, rest in peace to our buddy, Sean Oliver. So, again... Are you guys hearing me better? All right, sure. Okay, good. So it wasn't my connection. It was our connection. Maybe there was just too much positive energy. But I can say this. Sean Elliott, buddy, I appreciate you. You know, um, when it comes down to it, I know there's a lot of people really working towards the same goal. The difference might be that there's more people who stop doing competition, and they stop for a reason, and I can't blame them. So those who are presently competing, God bless you, best wishes, that's wonderful. What we're doing is slightly different. You might as well call it a throwback to 1980s when the ball had to go in the hoop. So, yes, I've supported, I will continue supporting as many people as possible. Um, a few people were re-motivated by me who have other organizations now, just so you know. And I'm not mad at anybody, but I am committed to 27 countries who already participated and at the Woman World Championship, and 67 that are involved. And now we just added United States, Puerto Rico, and Jamaica. So I apologize for the feedback. As you can see, it wasn't my, um, it wasn't my, um, my connection. It was just a combination of both. Now, I must say this. The first tournaments that we're having this year are going to start in Region 12, and that's February 2nd and 3rd, because we're going to have continuous contact. And then New York City is February 10th, but we're going to see if we can change that date because there's somebody else who has a tournament that same day. I don't know if that's possible to change it, but we're going to try it. We did the date before knowing anybody else was doing one on the same day, even though it's a different market. So 
Um, the bottom line is that the best is yet to come. Each one teach one. It, it's all of us. All of us collectively will make things happen. But we're going to have a convention, business, a business seminar slash convention, and we're going to have some of these top martial artists of all time teach us how to sweep, how to do cartwheel kicks, how to do all that funky stuff for back in the day because we still do a lot of that in Wuma. And um, stay tuned for many things to come. If you want to participate as a judge, as a spectator, I don't even care. If it's as a competitor, yes, we have even 65 and above division, 70 and above. And they don't even have to pay. You don't even have to pay to compete, 70 and above. How's that? Or oh, 65 and above, and we have divisions for you. We do point karate, continuous contact, full contact, K1, real kata, real forms, weapons. And um, we even have traditional karate door with no equipment. And we, in addition to that, we also had Taekwondo. So it's a variety of stuff that's been done in the past that we're just bringing into the future. And um, the World Championships 2020 is in Greece and 2022 is in America. And we will be at Madison Square Garden. That is the goal and no reason why we can't do it collectively. So thank you for watching. I apologize for the bad connection between him and I, but I believe you guys can hear me. And we will definitely be able to reset things. God bless those who are still presently competing, but it's not the same thing. Lock your knee, close your hand, put your glove inside the, um, put your hand inside the glove, and we will give you a point because you earned it because the ball goes inside the hoop, not just hitting the rim. On that note, I'm going to thank Master Jenkins one more time, and I apologize. We'll have it again another time with no feedback. Um, today, I want to interview one more person, and I'm going to see if I can get him in the next 15 or 20 minutes, and I'll come back and give this a shot again. Okay, guys, A, B, see you at the top. Thank you.